Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's have a first look at this Realme X2 Pro. And this is sort of the first flagship from Realme. Realme earlier uh, used to play around in the mid-range and the budget range. But now, uh, this is a flagship that comes with the Snapdragon 855 uh, Plus SoC. Uh, so again, a value uh, flagship sort of a device. But one thing that differentiates this one is that uh, it actually has a 90 hertz uh, screen. And apart from that, this also actually has a 50 watt uh, fast charging that is super vogue which is generally actually not found in fact if i recall this is the fastest that we are getting in india and um, i'm surprised that they are offering that one because this is considered to be that value flagship smartphone apart from that it's also supposed to have uh, dolby uh, stereo speakers and uh, also uh, it's going to have a quad uh, rear facing camera setup with actually a 2x zoom uh, that's a 5x hybrid zoom uh, so again uh, they are offering quite a bit of stuff and also that snapdragon 855 plus is supposed to come with the liquid cooling also with vapor chamber and stuff pretty uh, interesting and again guys uh, i'm actually shooting this video three days prior to the launch so i don't know the exact pricing uh, but I assume uh, that uh, they have sent us the base variant uh, that has 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 GB of storage. This should be priced anywhere around 27 to 28,000 in my rough estimate. But again, once it's launched and I have to know the official pricing, I'll add that in the description area. And uh, as I mentioned, this uh, is the base variant. There is also going to be a one more variant. The base comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 GB of storage. And the other variant will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 GB of storage. And the good thing is that both these variants come with UFS 3 storage. That's actually really fast so in terms of specs they are doing a very good job so let's quickly now just open this up and let's have a look and it just says hey welcome to realme family realme and i'm assuming it's case yes so we do get a case in the box some paperwork and stuff quick start guide i'll just keep that to the side so a typical uh, tpu uh, case that you are getting on this one so i'll just keep that to the side and here is the device itself and it has the in display fingerprint scanner that means it's uh, having a super amulet screen as you can see here it's a 6.5 inch screen i'll come back to the device later let's see what else do we get and obviously this should be usb type c i'm assuming uh, yes usb type c port again uh, guys use this cable that is supplied because it has that massive 50 watt charging don't use uh, any third party cables uh, this will give it to you the best results and uh, what else do we have here must be the sim ejector tool in this and uh, we have that super work and what is this yeah i think this is the super whoop and this charger has some heft and the big thing with this one is that it's a 10 amp 5 volt uh, charger. Uh, so it's actually a 50 watt charger. It's a super VOOC charger. And the good thing is that, uh, is that uh, though uh, it is uh, supporting the super VOOC at 50 watts, so they claim about uh, 80% of charge in just 30 minutes but even if you use uh, other quick charges uh, and uh, power delivery it will charge it faster uh, so that's actually a really nice thing so again i'm really happy that it supports that 50 watt charger and they are supplying this uh, super fast charger in the box you don't have to purchase it separately so that's actually nice and that's it in the box nothing much so let me keep this to the side and now let's have a look at this handset it's having a 6.5 inch screen and looks like a screen guard is sort of pre-applied it has that water drop notch and uh, on the back we have that quad camera setup the, the main camera is actually a 64 uh, megapixel that we are having on this one and uh, uh, we also have a uh, 8 megapixel ultra wide then we all have a 13 megapixel that's 2x zoom uh, but it uses 5x uh, hybrid optical uh, zoom and we also have a 2 megapixel for portrait uh, we also have the front facing camera over here that's a 16 megapixel and in terms of battery this is having a 4000 milliamp hour battery and on the top uh, we have a secondary noise cancellation microphone and uh, this looks like uh, aluminium build quality uh, that you're getting so metal not plastic and it's supposed to have gorilla glass 5 if i recall and uh, we have the power on off button here sim ejector tool is here i don't think so this will have a micro sd card slot because flagships uh, generally don't yes but two nano sims uh, that you have to put on this one so that's what it is bottom went for the speaker uh, i believe it's a stereo so this must also be a, a speaker and it supports dolby atmos 
and uh, here we have the USB type C port um, again main microphone 3.5 mm headphone jack we are getting it fortunately and the volume rocker over here so let me do one thing let me actually power this on and by the time it actually boots up and I set it up let me give you a configuration overview this uh, Realme X2 Pro is having a Snapdragon 855 Plus SoC. It has a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED screen. That's a full HD Plus screen with 90 Hertz screen. Uh, that's also HDR10 Plus. It has the Adreno 640 GPU, comes with eight or 12 gigabytes of RAM, 128 and 256 GB of storage. Moving to the camera, it's a quad camera setup. The main camera is a 64 megapixel. Then we have a 13 megapixel. That's a 2X zoom with 5X hybrid zoom. Eight megapixel is the ultra wide and then two megapixel is for the portrait. Moving to the front facing camera, it's a 16 uh, megapixel. It has a 4000 milliamp hour battery with that 50 watt super woke charging. Uh, it also has in display fingerprint scanner and also has stereo speaker support. So guys, I've set up this uh, device and as you can see, this uh, out of the box again comes with color OS. There is some uh, junkware installed. For example, this UC uh, browser is there. You can remove it, but I think so to uninstall, you have to go over here and from here you have to actually uh, remove it. So there is some uh, bloatware there for example uh, this let's see yes it's allowing us to uninstall uh, some of the junkware but there is some junkware that is uh, there as you can see quite a bit of uh, stuff and uh, these are the quick toggles and it's uh, surprising to see that nfc is supported as you can see nfc icon is here i was not expecting that so that's a pleasant surprise i would say and other quick toggles uh, this is still running on color os uh, 6 and if we go over here as you can see, uh, let's go to about the device if we scroll down. And one uh, thing is that uh, if you go to the display brightness and all these things, we also have something uh, known as flicker free. This is known as DC dimming. We have that. Let me go even lower. Uh, generally, if you go very low, uh, the screens flicker. We have that. So as you can see, uh, you can toggle this. So this is nice. And also uh, the screen refresh rate, as you can see, you can go to 90 Hertz as well as to about 60 Hertz if you want. So those options are provided. That's actually a nice thing. And uh, by default, it was at, uh, you can easily toggle, as you can see, when it goes to that and you can switch it. So that's the big thing, 90 Hertz display it has. And this is typical uh, color OS, color OS versions, uh, six uh, still I would say and uh, hopefully this will uh, get the new color OS version uh, because that's going to be launching very soon this is the color OS version 6.1 that comes with Android Pie as you can see so let's just get out of this one and uh, as I've told you this is the base variant that comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM after uh, taking a lot of pictures uh, so uh, we have just about 111 uh, right now but I, if I recall it was about 113 uh, uh, GB or so free so that's regarding the storage on this and we also have that other variant that uh, comes with uh, 12 gigabytes of ram uh, that is actually going to have 256 gigabytes of uh, storage so let's just go back and uh, over here this is typically color os i won't get into that and uh, it has that in display fingerprint scanner over here as you can see and it is fast and responsive as you can see so no issues regarding that and uh, here we have the branding at least in this white color as you can see it hides that uh, fingerprints quite a bit uh, but again the real me lettering is over here this should have been on this side in my opinion uh, here it looks a little bit weird it would have been a lot better if they would have written it like this but anyways uh, let's now look at the camera it has that 64 megapixel main camera and uh, that quad camera setup so let's unlock this and now let's have a look at the camera interface and let's fire it up and this is again uh, this hasn't changed this interface as you can see this is the uh, regular interface that we find on almost every uh, uh, what do you say real me device and this is the regular one and we also have 2x zoom it's zooming in let me go to this object this is a little bit further away and uh, as uh, this is actually optical zoom and this is also we have that 5x zoom this is a hybrid optical zoom so it can go really close and then we uh, I have this wide angle lens as you can see if we have that we can also go digital zoom for example from this 5x if you really want to go more you can go up to 20x if you really want but again this is digital zoom as you can see i won't suggest you using best results you'll get up, up to that 5x zoom so let me just get out of this one uh, so that's regarding that uh, stuff and again we have also have that portrait stuff and all those things i'll show you samples uh, actually the portrait stuff works very well i did test it and by default the beauty mode will be on you should shut it off and one uh, unique thing that I found is that if I go very close to an object, for example, if I bring this here, 
uh, sometimes it was like showing yeah macro lens it just says macro lens so it's not actually a macro lens it doesn't have a macro lens but automatically it tries to go into the macro mode so that is also something you have to note and now moving to the front facing camera this is the front facing camera as you can see again very fast because of the processor it's really good i also have that portrait mode with the background blur and all those things so let me do one thing let me actually shoot some samples so that you have a better idea regarding the camera so these were the samples taken in outdoor condition as expected it did a good job in outdoor conditions to give you an idea about the zoom this is a regular shot this is that 2x zoom this is that 5x hybrid zoom and finally that's that ultra wide angle and as you can see outdoor shots uh, came out good the color reproduction was also actually pretty good uh, with this x2 uh, pro and uh, these are some close-up uh, shots that i took again as you can see these also came out actually pretty good now moving to human subject this was taken in the regular mode this was the that portrait mode and this was that ultra wide uh, one give you one more example regular mode this is that portrait mode and uh, this was that ultra wide angle now moving to artificial lighting that is completely artificial lighting here also actually it did actually pretty good as you can see here i use the zoom this is the 2x zoom and this is that 5x uh, zoom and this was finally that wide angle and as you can see it did pretty decent even in artificial lighting now moving to human subjects this was the 2x zoom and this is that portrait bokeh mode uh, as you can see it did a good job again the 2x zoom is also doing a good job even in artificial lighting and this was that ultra wide again uh, one more example to give you an idea in artificial lighting now moving to the front facing camera again as you can see the front facing camera performance was also actually really good even in artificial lighting it actually did a pretty good job in my opinion as you can see so guys uh, that's it for now for the unboxing and first look at this realme x2 and uh, regarding the availability i got an email from uh, realme uh, it's going to go on sale from 26th november onwards but it won't be a regular sale at least initially it will be only via invites and stuff and realme uh, said that in, uh, in in that email that they will be sending me some special links and invites so that my users can purchase i haven't got those uh, links as of now when i get it i'll add it uh, in the description area and again do follow me on twitter if i get multiple links or those special links later on i will post them uh, via my twitter account that is at kiki ranjit but anyways what do you think about this realme x2 pro do let me know your thoughts in the youtube comments below that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys